we are looking at describing inequality graph. Describing inequality graph. In other words, this means you are already given inequality graphs drawn and you are supposed to find and tell us what inequalities were used. So, for our main example, we have got two main inequalities drawn. We need to find their inequalities. Let's start with this line. Then after, we shall do this other line. Let's call it line 1. First and foremost, we need to find the equation of this line. In order to find the equation of this line, we need to find gradient. So, step one, finding gradient. And we know, to find gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, let's pick two points from the line. This point is 1, 2, and this other point there is 2, 4. Let this act as our x1, y1, x2, and y2. So I will substitute 4 minus 2 over 2 minus 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, giving me my gradient as 2. My gradient is already obtained as 2. Step number 2, I need to find my y-intercept. y-intercept. Remember, y-intercept is always known as c. And y-intercept is exactly where the line crosses the y-axis. And this line is crossing the y-axis at the value of y equal to zero. But, if you don't want to just look there, you can use the formula y is equal to mx plus c to prove. After having gradient, that is 2, substitute it here, pick one point, that is 1, and 2. If y is 2, keep it on the place of y. If x is 1, keep it on the place of x plus c. So it will be 2 is equal to 2 plus c. If I take 2 this side, it will be 2 minus 2 and I get my c equal to 0. So this means we can get our y-intercept direct by just looking at where the line is crossing y-axis or we can use the, the format of equation of a line. We can use with the gradient and one point and we can work out and we get c as zero. Now, after getting step one, gradient, and after getting step two, y-intercept, then step three, we can write our equation. And we know our equation will be y is equal to 2x plus 0. Finally, y is equal to 2x. Now, after getting our equation, step number four, we should get our test point 
from true region. So that we can get our inequality side. And since our true region is the part which is not shaded, we can pick a point, let's say, here. This point is negative 1 for x and positive 2 for y. We shall substitute this true test point to our equation. Y is 2, x is negative 1. And when we solve, we get 2 and negative 2. Remember, these are not equal. But because our test point was true, so we shall have to replace the equal sign with the true inequality. And the true inequality is the greater sign. But because our line is continuous, we shall add the equal sign. And finally, we shall replace our equation with the greater or equal sign. And this is our first inequality. Let's look at our second line. Line 2. When you look at our line 2, you do realize it is broken. So because it is broken, our final answer will not have the equal to. But, first step, pick two points from the line. I pick negative 2, 0. 0, negative 2. I will use these two points to find the equation of this line. Gradient. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. It gives me negative 2 over 2 and that is negative 1. So my gradient is Negative 1. Step 3, I need my y-intercept. And if you look at our line, it is crossing at negative 2. So straight away, my c will be negative 2. Hence, I replace in my y is equal to mx plus c so that I get the equation. And my equation will be negative x minus 2. After getting our equation, we shall have to get a true test point so that we can find the inequality sign. I will use the same test point. Negative 1, positive 2, because it is in the true region. Negative 1 and positive 2. So, when I replace this to my equation, 2 represents y, x is represented by negative 1 minus 2. When I solve this, I get 1. 1 minus 2, I get negative 1. When I look at what I have now, 2 is greater. So because 2 is greater, I will have to use a greater sign. But because my line is originally broken, it means I will not put the equal sign. And my final inequality will now be y is greater than negative x minus 2. 
This is how we find inequalities from already drawn inequality graph. And we call this describing the inequality graph. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed my video, you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell for more new videos that I will be posting for you. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.